Now, corruption fight in Ghana, sometimes when I wake up in the, in the night, deep in the night, I ask myself, are we serious? Do we really mean to fight corruption in this country? What I, I have seen is like always those in government are corrupt, those in opposition are innocent. When the tables turn, then those who were yesterday in government but today in opposition become angels, innocent. And then the angels who have now become, um, you know, people in government now are the corrupt people. And as long as people are in government, they are corrupt because that's what the opposition will want you to believe. And everybody in the minority becomes a saint. And the way we have given political color to corruption fight and corruption in this country, that when somebody is even alleged, quickly you get party faithfuls fighting back in media, coming around, protecting their own. Uh, on that basis, I'm asking the question, are we serious? I, I, do we really, really mean to fight corruption? You see, I would want to see a situation where government will even disown their own. Party members, regional ministers will disown their own. Get them to court. You know, the party people will disown their own that you, you are corrupt, we know you. But that is what I'm seeing. Whether we have done enough, I doubt. I think that's a question because Corruption in this country is not only the government side. I'm talking about even corruption in communities, traditional, uh, you know, land sale, examination or practices. You know, even corruption in the church. The deceit, the deception in church. You know, so we have a serious problem. But the approach to the corruption fight is what I'm telling you is that it's between party in government, party in opposition. That's my impression now. See, so we end up leaving greater part of the fight unattended to. Because now when you talk about corruption in Ghana, it's those in government. Minority people are innocent. And therefore all others are innocent. Corrupt people are those in government. Those in government will leave government if they go, they go into my they also become saints. Now corruption, you talk to people in government. That's why I'm saying I'm not sure we are serious with the corruption fight. Because corruption in Ghana to me is bigger. But the approach has been those in government.